Welcome to part four of my DVD and Blu-ray collection, uh, the final chapter, no, uh, but continuing with the DVDs, uh, so let's go ahead and get started. We have North Country with uh, Charlie Theron. You also have Francis McDormand, Sissy Spacek, Woody Harrelson, Sean Bean. Uh, making of documentary, uh, stories from North Country, additional scenes. I haven't seen this one, but yeah, do have that. North Country, just so let me know about that. And um, I'm, I'm gonna be covering a little bit more here. I added a few more to the piles, so it may go over an hour, uh, a little bit, but bear with me. <laughs> uh, next we have Tremors 2, Aftershocks, a uh, very good sequel. You have Fred Ward come, you know, he comes back as Earl, and I like the additional characters. You know, Christopher Garden, uh, you know, I thought he was fun in the film. Michael Gross, you know, he's great once again as Burt Gummer. Yeah, the worms have turned. Yeah, Tremors Two Aftershocks, an enjoyable sequel, entertaining. Um, again, I love the first two. The third one's okay. The fourth one, not so much. But Tremors 2, great sequel. And I wish it would stop making them. I know Michael Gross, you need that Tremors money, but stop, please. <laughs> uh, next, we have Primary Colors, John Travolta, Emma Thompson, Billy Bob Thornton. Good cast. Never seen, but Primary Colors, I do have that. Uh, next, you know, this is a decent movie. I mean, it's one of those films that I'm back and forth on. Like, it just, I don't know what to think about it. Uh, definitely weird, but we have Donnie Darko, Jake Gyllenhaal. I just pulled that off, but yeah, it's a it's a weird movie. I like some of the for, uh, performances. Patrick Swayze, I thought, did a good job in the film as a speaker. Um, it's well directed. It's just I don't know what to make of it. It's one of those movies that you don't know what to make of it. Um, it's definitely odd, but I mean, not a bad movie. But I do have that Donnie Darko. This is the director's cut. So you got a production diary, um, The Cult of Donnie Darko, they made me do it too. Storyboard, the screen featurette, director's cut theatrical trailer, a Darko, a number one fan, a Darko Minery. So you have a Darko Minery. But yeah, got that. Donnie Darko, Jake John All. Let's see, next. Haven't seen this film, but we have 21 with a Kevin Spacey, Jim Sturgis, Lawrence Fishburne. I haven't seen this movie, but I mean, I've heard different uh, different opinions, and uh, Kevin Spacey. You know, I know people wonder what I think about him in that situation. I mean, it's just he's a creep. I mean, that's just. Simply put, I mean, to be straightforward, it's just he's a piece of shit. I still own some of his films. Um, I still like some of his films, but yeah. Kevin Spacey, he disappeared. <laughs> um, but moving on from that. Uh, next, we have Striptease with a Demi Moore. I like this movie. I know it's trash but it's good trash <laughs> it's good trash because Demi Moore's hot in the film Burt Reynolds is having a lot of fun I think this was this was the one movie where Burt Reynolds his career was you know at the time was kind of you know it wasn't really picking up it was this like his character in the film that people were like you know like people started to take notice of Burt Reynolds again and you know, what do you, you know, before you know it, he kind of shot back up as far as popularity. Um, 
that's what I've read. I could be wrong, but uh, but I like the soundtrack. I like some of the songs, and Demi Moore again is hot. Strip te tease. Again, Demi Moore is hot. I like the movie. Again, I know it's it gets crapped on, but I still like it. Uh, next, we have Freedom Land. Kind of bright there, but Samuel Jackson, Julianne Moore. You also have William Forsythe in the film, Anthony Mackie. Still have to watch this one, so. Yeah, Freedom Land. I have that. Uh, next, uh, which I do have the first three in the collection pack, but I have this separately. I don't know why, but uh, Police Academy, and this is the 20th anniversary edition, so you got a commentary by Steve Guttenberg and some of the other cast members, director, uh, all new reunion documentary, behind the scenes, so... Yeah, I got the first one, and again, I have the first three already in a collection pack. I think they made like, what, seven or eight of these, so I only got the first three, but I have that. Uh, next, we have Spy with uh, Jason Statham, Melissa McCarthy, directed by Paul Feig. And it's funny because I've heard good things about this movie. The Ghostbusters reboot sucks, but from the stuff I've heard about Spy, again, I've heard some good things. I mean, you know, so I will have to check it out. So that's Spy, Jason Statham, Melissa McCarthy. I'm not even the biggest fan of Melissa McCarthy. I mean, I like her in St. Vincent. Um, I like her in that, but not the biggest fan. Uh, next... We have an entertaining action film, Buddy Cop film, Showdown with Tokyo, with Dolph Lundgren and Brandon Lee. Great movie. Uh, these two had great chemistry. And yeah, it's fast paced, action packed, great villain in Kara Tagawa. Tia Carrera's hot. Good score. And from what I understand, too, I, there hasn't been a whole lot of word out there, but. I think there is a Brandon Lee documentary being made, and I think recently they interviewed Al Leung. I mean, it hasn't been talked about much. I don't know why, but it's been kind of on the quiet side, but I heard something about a Brandon Lee documentary because they interviewed Al Leung, so I don't know what to, you know, what's going to come out of it or, or what's going to happen, but I hope, you know, I'll, I'd like to see it if it does get made. Um, so I hope it happens. But Shut Little Tokyo is a lot of fun. Entertaining action film. Uh, next, we have ICU with a Stallone. Very good Stallone film. Underrated. Great cast. Tom Berenger, Charles Dutton, Sean Patrick Flannery, Robert Patrick, Robert Prosky, Courtney B. Vance, Jeffrey Wright, uh, Chris Christopherson, great cast. I need to rewatch this one again because it's, you know, I, I think I may have rewatched it last year, uh, but I've seen it a couple of times. But I See You or Detox, aka Detox, really good Stallone film. So I got that. Actors interviews, deleted scenes, just a couple of features. But I have that. At some point, all that's going to fall over. I can see it happening. <laughs> uh, but next, we have Final Analysis. Richard Gere, Kim Basinger, Uma Thurman's in the film, Eric Roberts. I've never seen this one, so... But, you know, for the Richard Gere collection, Kim Basinger, Final Analysis. Let me know about that one that right there. Uh, next, we have Neighbors, 
with the Zac Efron, Seth, uh, Seth Rogen. I have to watch this one. I know they made a sequel, which I don't have. Up here you have a gag reel, uh, an unlikely pair, partying with the neighbors. But yeah. Neighbors, got that. Put that down there. Uh, next, we have. Feels kind of empty, but let me see. Let me check. Yeah, it's in there. Um, but anyways, Explorers. Great movie, although the third act. I don't know what they were thinking with the aliens. They were very annoying. Joe Dante. I don't know what kind of drugs you you were on or what they were thinking. It's like the first three-fourths of the film, I mean, the first, I would say the first half of the film, it's magical. You know, I like the build-up, I like the friendship of these characters and building this spaceship, but when you get to the alien parts, again, the whole third act with the aliens, they're just annoying, you just want to kick them in the balls. And I'm like, why, you know, they ruined this damn movie. <laughs> It's like, get out of the fucking way, you know, of this good movie. But that's my beef with the... That's my issues with the film. It's just the alien parts, the alien... The whole third act with the annoying aliens. I wanted to... Again, I wanted to kick them in the coot. Um, but I do like this cast. I like the direction. Not much for features. I don't know why this doesn't get a special edition. I like to see it. Maybe Joe Dante can explain what was the third act about... You know, but I like Explorers. I still like the film, but I have that. I don't make it seem like I hate the film. It's just the final act. I have problems. Moving on. We have History of the World Part 1. Mel Brooks film. Comedy, which I haven't seen, but for the Mel Brooks collection. It says bonus features, but there's not really much up here. But yeah, History of the World Part 1, let me know about that. Let's see. Next, we have Pulp Fiction. What more can you say about this film? And it has a documentary up here, uh, Deleted Scenes, Interviews with Quentin Tarantino, The Tarantino Generation, which I think is a segment with uh, Siskel and Ebert. Production design, featurette, behind the scenes, montages, filmographies, the collector's edition of Pulp Fiction. What more can you say about this film? Great movie. I'll take it out real quick so I can show you what it looks like in the Thurman. Yeah, the sun's out today, but it's cold. It was like 29 degrees this morning. Oop, got it upside down. I gotta fix that. There you go. What more can you say about that? Uh, next. I have this film because I got it for cheap. Uh, I think I found it for like a dollar. But Creed... Yeah, don't like the film, but if one day, if I review the Rocky franchise, I'll review this. I don't even like Creed 2. But yeah. It's just a remake of Rocky, people. Creed, you know, Michael B. Jordan's character is unlikable. A lot of problems. Yeah, Creed, Creed is crud. That's why I call it. But moving on, uh, next we have Harlem Nights, the Eddie Murphy, Richard Pryor, Red Fox, great cast, directed by Eddie Murphy. I mean, I've only seen, this is one that I've only seen like bit parts of, I haven't seen the entire film, um, but 
I know it's a period of movie. It takes place in the 30s. So someday I'll give it a watch for the Eddie Murphy collection. Got that. Uh, let's see. Next, we have Mirrors with uh, Kiefer Sutherland, directed by Alexander Aja, who directed the Hills of Eyes remake, the Piranha remake. I remember liking this movie. It's just one of those I need to refresh on because I remember liking it, but it's just been a minute. Um, includes both the theatrical version and the unrated version, uh, the making of, shockumentary, uh, deleted scenes with optional director's commentary. So yeah, that's Mirrors. So I got that. Uh, next, we have Get Carter with a Stallone. This is another one that I've only seen bits and pieces of, like on TV, but I haven't seen the entire film. I know it's a remake of a Michael Caine film, which he's in the film. Mickey Wark, um, Miranda Richardson, Richard Lay Cook, Alan Cumming. You got audio commentary by director, deleted scenes. So yeah. Get Carter with a Stallone. I've only seen bit parts, but I do own it. Uh, next, we have Encino Man, Polly Shore, Brandon Fraser, Sean Astin. You know, good comedy. Let's see if I can. Yeah, it's kind of. But my favorite Polly Shore film is actually in the Army now, which I do have. Um, and this is, you know, this would probably be my second favorite. You know, I enjoy. I really enjoy, you know, like Son in Law and Seen a Man and Army Now. I haven't seen like Jury Duty or Biodome. But yeah, this is a great one in Seen a Man. Really fun movie. Let's see, next we have Young Guns 2, which I like this film. I like some of the cast and some of the new, you know, faces. Um but yeah, I mean, you didn't really need the ending, which I know is what really happened, but it wasn't needed. Um, I mean, I definitely prefer the first movie, but I can, you know, I like Emilio Estevez in this, and some of the dialogue, some of the lines, and, you know, some of the, you know, faces that, even though they kill off these characters, which I don't like, but I can still watch Young Guns 2. Um, I, again, I have problems with the film, but I can still watch it. So, Even though I prefer the first one way more. But that's Young Guns 2. Got that. Let's see. Next, we have Lake Placid. Definitely a fun movie. Creature feature. And I, it's funny because I remember it's like back in the day being at the video, like the video store and there was a poster of Lake Placid and I'm like, I want to see that movie. So this is probably back in like 98, 99, which we used to have Video Plaza. That's what they used to call it. I don't know. I'm, I don't know how many of those they had around your area or if there was a lot of Video Plazas, but that we, that's what we had here. But yeah, Lake Placid, it's a fun creature feature. Bill Pullman, you know, Bridget Fonda, Oliver Platt, Betty White. Not much for features, but got that. Uh, next, we have Ghost. Definitely a great movie. Great romantic movie. Patrick Swayze, you know, rest in peace. Demi Moore's great. Whoopi Goldberg's great. Um, who, you know, she won the Oscar. And it's just unfortunate, like, I mean, it's kind of weird watching this now. Patrick Swayze's passed away. Um, but he definitely did a great job on, on this. And it's definitely one of my favorite love stories. You got a commentary up here, a making of, but... Inside the paranormal, like, who really cares? You know, I want to hear about the film, not the... You know, the paranormal society. <laughs> but... Yeah, great movie, great love story, classic. 
ghost. Got that. Let's see. Next, we have Clue, the movie, classic. What more can you say about this film? I know it has uh, three different surprise endings. So, it's not just a game anymore. I heard at one point they're you know they were trying to they're trying to remake this too. I mean I don't know if it's true or not, but don't need a remake of Clue. That's what Hollywood should get a damn Clue, and they can't seem to figure it out that we don't need any more remakes reboots. But Clue the movie is a classic. Uh, next we have the Serpent in the Rainbow. Great movie. The last time I watched this, it kind of messed up my it messed with my head a little bit. Like I remember watching it one day and then I went to, when I went to sleep later that night, I woke up in the middle of the night and I was like seeing faces on the wall or some shit. I don't know. Since then I haven't really watched this movie. I'm not saying I'm scared of the movie, but you know, it's like that voodoo stuff. Any type of voodoo elements, you know, I don't know. But still, it's a great movie. I need to... I'll rewatch it. Bill Pullman's great. Wes Craven did a great job directing, so... The Serpent and the Rainbow is a great movie. But, yeah. Definitely, you know, deals with the voodoo stuff. But moving on, we have... Punch Drunk Love, with Adam Sandler. I don't know what these numbers mean, but... I haven't seen this one. I know it's more of a dramatic film. Different kind of movie. Written and directed by Paul Th Thomas Anderson. The two disc uh, special edition of Punch Drunk Love. So you let me know about that one. Uh, next, which again I have the other films. Um, a little tape on there but I had got these in a double feature Halloween 4 and Halloween 5 Halloween 4 is great Halloween 5 I'm not you know I don't like I mean you got Michael Myers crying Daniel Harris's character is a mute a stuttering kid it's just like why Dr. Loomis is more of a dick I mean, each has some good features. I mean, the fourth one has audio commentary by Ellie Cornell and Daniel Harris, which I... Daniel Harris is hot, and definitely hot in person. Uh, such a sweet person. Audio commentary with the writer. And on Halloween 5, you have audio commentary with uh, the cast and director. Introduction by Daniel Harris and Ellie Cornell. Uh, never before seen footage on the, on the set. Inside Halloween 5. Like, why does Halloween 5 get all these features? I mean, but anyways. <laughs> yeah, I got Halloween 4 and Halloween 5 in this double pack. Again, I prefer Halloween 4. But I got that. Uh, next, we have... The Temptations. Biopic. Which I still have to watch. For some reason, I remember this would come on TV a lot, like VH1 or something like that. I, you know, my memory. Um, yeah, I have to watch this. But yeah, The Temptations biopic. So I got that. Uh, next, we have Free Willy. Definitely a good family film. I haven't seen the sequels and I don't have them, so. But, you know, again, good family film from the 90s. So I got Free Willy. I remember, like, seeing trailers for this a lot back in the day. I swear it was on the uh, Batman Forever VHS. It just, every time I think of the movie, that trailer comes up. But, I think about that trailer. But moving on, we have The Blues Brothers. Definitely a good movie. Classic. On a mission from God. <laughs> Features, you have the stories behind the making of The Blues Brothers, an original full-length documentary. 
but the cast, John Landis, and yeah, I mean, what more can you say about the Blues Brothers? I don't have Blues Brothers 2000, uh, but yeah, great movie. What more can you say about this? So I have that. Uh, next, we have Mean Streets, which I haven't seen. It's directed by Martin Scorsese. You also have Robert De Niro, Harvey Keitel. I know it's an early film. I think it was made in the 70s. Special edition of Mean Streets. You do have a commentary up here by Martin Scorsese, so that's kind of it. But I do own that. Uh, next, we have Jurassic World, and again, this is cheap for a dollar. I was, you know, curious about it, but yeah, I just I'm just not a fan of this movie. I mean, is this is it pretty much a remake of Jurassic Park? And I know they're making another one, and they want to bring back the original trio, the cast of, you know. Uh, Sam Neill, Jeff Goldblum, Laura Dern, but, like, really, who cares? I mean, I haven't seen the second one, but I do have Fallen Kingdom. I just, I wasn't a fan. Again, it was just a remake of the first movie. But Jurassic World, I know a lot of people liked it, but that's just me. Not too big on it. Uh, but next, we have... 1408, John Cusack, Samuel Jackson. I remember liking this movie. I need to go back and rewatch. Um, but yeah. 1408, good creepy flick. Uh, next, we have Election with uh, Matthew Broderick. Uh, Reese Witherspoon features you got a commentary by director and that's kind of it never seen it but for the Matthew Broderick uh, collection we have election so I got that uh, next we have Peggy Sue got married I've never seen this one. Uh, you have Kathleen Turner, Nicolas Cage, directed by Francis Ford Coppola. Is that Jim Carrey on the back? Looks like Jim Carrey. <laughs> but, yeah, so I guess Jim Carrey's in the film. Didn't know that. I knew Nicolas Cage was in it. But, yeah. Peggy Sue got married. Let me know about that one. Uh, next, we have Shaft, Samuel Jackson, which I haven't seen. I know it's a kind of a remake because, you know, they have the Richard Roundtree Shaft films, and I know they made a new one, which I've heard bad things about. I've had, you know, I've heard bad things about the new one. But someday I'll give this a watch. I mean, you got Vanessa Williams, Jeffrey Wright, Christian Bale, Busta Rhymes, Dan Hedaya, Richard Roundtree. But yeah. Shaft. So I got that. Uh, next, we have The Wedding Singer. Adam Sandler, Drew Barrymore. Great Adam Sandler film. Definitely one of my favorites. I would say like my second favorite. Um, I really, I love the chemistry between these two. I also like 50, for, 50 First Dates, but this one, you know, it, it was more, it's more innocent. And I like that Adam Sandler's his wedding singer. I like some of the song uh, choices, the soundtrack, but yeah. The Wedding Singer is a great movie, definitely a classic. <laughs> one of my favorites. Uh, next, we have definitely a classic, How Nash Run the Kids, which I swear also they're trying to reboot a remake for Disney Plus. I'm like, why? You don't need it. 
Just like you don't need a Mighty Ducks reboot series or Disney Plus. You don't need a Hocus Pocus 2. Stop this crap. But I know I'm ranting and raving, but this is a great movie. I grew up on this film. It's a childhood favorite. It was a big hit when it came out. And Disney does not give a damn about, you know, why can't this have a special edition? I don't know. But Honey, I Shrunk the Kids is definitely a great movie. Classic. Uh, next, we have Cadillac Man, the Robin Williams and Tim Robbins. Uh, good movie. And I would say it's one of my favorite Robin Williams films. That you know, I mean, no one really talks about it. I like the chemistry between these two. Um, I like this, the plot. Oh, you're no shit kind of guy. I don't know. I just like. You know, Robin Williams in this film. Uh, yeah, Cow Like Man is a good one. Good movie. Uh, next, we have the Fright Night remake, which I've seen bit, bits and pieces of because I was, I think at the, t the time this came out, I was working at the theater. And I remember seeing some parts here and there. Not a fan of it. I know, unfortunately, Anton Yelchin passed away, but someday I'll give it a watch. But I, it was cheap, so the Fright Night remake, got that. Uh, next, we have Eight-Legged Freaks, good creature feature. You know, I mean, when it comes to Spiders, arachnophobia is my favorite, but I think this is still a fun one. You know, uh, David Arquette, Scott Terra, Dougie Doug is a lot of fun, Scarlett Johansson. Good, you know, features, you know, feature length audio commentary by the stars, and so much more. But yeah, Eight Legged Freaks, I can have fun with. It's a fun one. Uh, next, we have this eight movie horror collection pack. Let's see, we have Waxwork, uh, which I have in a double feature pack. I think I showed that. Um, 976 Evil 2, Ghoulies 3, um, Ghoulies Go to College, The Unholy, bring it over here, Chud 2, Chopping Mall, Slaughter High, and Class of 1999. So this eight movie horror collection pack. Again, I already have Waxwork and yeah, I got that separately. But all these other ones I didn't have. Again, 976 Evil 2. I actually got the first one. You'll see it later. Ghoulies 3, The Unholy, Chud 2, Chopping Mall, Slaughter High, and Class of 1999. So let me know about some of these. Got that. Uh, next, we have Orphan. Good horror film, sort of in the vein of The Good Son, you know, that type of movie. I mean, you kind of, from the poster, from the look of it, you have an idea what it's about. But, this is a good one. Orphan's a good horror film. So, I got that. Uh, next, we have a very good Steve Martin film. L.A. Story. I enjoyed this one. I, I saw this like for the first time. I think it was this year, and I like the story. I like the plot of you know him and this billboard, and I like some of the cast in the film. But yeah, definitely a good movie. L.A. Story, Steve Martin, again, great movie. Let's see. Next, this was a gift. We have Citizen Kane. I've never seen this film. I mean, I've heard so much about it. And again, it was a gift, so still in the plastic. Sometime I'll give it a watch, but yeah. It has separate commentaries by Roger Debert. Interviews with, I guess, the cast. 
yeah. Citizen Kane, got that. Uh, next, we have The Descent, which I like. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the ending, but I like this film. I, you know, I think it's creepy at times, and I like... You know, that it takes place in these caves. Some good shots. Directed by Neil Marshall, who I think directed Dog Soldiers. Which is right here, actually. Yeah, same director. So, I prefer Dog Soldiers more, but this is still a good one. The Descent. Got that. And since I just mentioned it, we have Dog Soldiers. One of my favorite werewolf films. I need to rewatch this one again. This one's a lot of fun, entertaining movie. I think originally, from what I understand, Jason Statham was offered the lead role, but I think he turned it down. Imagine that, Jason Statham versus werewolves. <laughs> I want to see that movie, but I think Kevin McKidd did a good job. And Dog Soldiers is great. One of my favorite werewolf films. Uh, next, we have Changing Lanes with Ben Affleck, Samuel Jackson. Haven't seen this one. You have a making of up here, a writer's perspective featurette. But yeah. You let me know about this one. Changing Lanes. So I got that. Uh, next, we have Bandits, uh, Bruce Willis, Billy Bob Thornton, Kate Blanchett, directed by Barry Levinson. I think I remember seeing this once on TV. I remember liking it, um, but it's definitely been a while. But yeah, got Bandits, so I own that. Surprise, it hasn't fallen yet. Let's see here. Uh, next, we have, for the Van Damme Collection, Nowhere to Run. I think this is a good Van Damme film. I mean, it's not as, it's not as action-packed as, let's say, Hard Target or Double Impact or uh, Time Cop, but Nowhere to Run, you know, I think it's a good, solid, you know, Van Damme film. Um, you know, I like this character in the film. Ted, Le Ted Levine is a good villain, but yeah. Nowhere to Run's a good one. Solid movie. Put that right there. Uh, next, we have Night Moves with Christopher Lambert, which I haven't seen. You also have Diane Lane in the film, Tom Skerritt. Yeah, Daniel Baldwin. In a game of life and death, one wrong move could be his last. So yeah, let me know about that one. You know, trying to get more for the Christopher Lambert collection. I do have Fortress, which we'll see. But this is a great one. Well, I, I don't know why I said that. I haven't seen. I was thinking about Fortress. Fortress is great, uh, but Night Moves I haven't seen. So let me know about that one. Uh, next, we have Nothing But Trouble. Definitely a fun movie. Chevy Chase, Dan Aykroyd, John Candy, Demi Moore. Directed by Dan Aykroyd, which... I know when this came out, it got a lot of crap, and but I I can't help but enjoy it. You know, Nothing But Trouble is definitely, to me, an underrated comedy. It's it's very wild. I like the idea of this... of Chevy Chase and Demi Moore being trapped in this house, and John Candy is sort of the bailiff, and Dan Aykroyd's this crazy judge. <laughs> It's just, it's, it's a crazy movie, but I, it's a lot of fun. Nothing but troubles, fun. Uh, next, we have Only the Lonely, with John Candy, uh, Maureen O'Hara, Ali Sheedy. I like this movie. It's a sweet movie. I like the chemistry between John Candy and Ali Sheedy. Um, you know, it's a sweet you know, chemistry, and I like this movie. It's a different, you know, it's more dramatic, 
it's different from let's say Uncle Buck or The Great Outdoors, but John Candy I thought did a good job, so good movie. Uh, next, definitely an action classic, we have Hard Target. What more can you say about this film? Directed by John Woo, Van Damme's great. Don't hunt what you can't kill. Yeah, Hard Target's great, action classic, Van Damme rocks. They didn't need a sequel. I don't know why they made a sequel, but uh, moving on. Uh, next, we have Child's Play, the original. And this is the 20th birthday edition. So you have an audio commentary by Alex Vincent, Catherine Hicks, and the designer of Chucky. Audio commentary with producer David Kirshner and Don Mancini. A commentary, uh, another commentary. Some featurettes. I'm making of. So some good features. The uh, Child's Play, the original classic. So I got that. Uh, let's see, we're doing good on time. Uh, next we have The Astronaut's Wife, Johnny Depp, Charlie Theron. I haven't seen this one, but I've heard some not good things about it. But not much for features, so you can let me know about this. But yeah, The Astronaut's Wife, I have that. Uh, next, we have definitely a fun movie Beverly Hills Ninja with uh, Chris Farley. Again, just a fun movie. As far as features, you don't have. It says production notes. You know, a little production booklet inside, but that's it. But this is a fun Chris Farley movie. Uh, I like it. <laughs> it's enjoyable. So I have that. Let's see, next we have The Little Rascals from the early 90s. You know, a decent movie. I mean... It's definitely a kid's movie, but I can still watch it. You know, it's harmless. It's a harmless movie, so. But I got The Little Rascals. And I don't know where to put it, but I'm going to put it there. Uh, next, we have uh, definitely a great movie. Wes Craven Shocker. Mitch Pelleggi, Peter Berg. Again, directed by, you know, directed by Wes Craven. Rest in peace. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Yeah, Shocker's a great movie. Great horror movie. Uh, see, next we have Ernest Goes to Camp. Which I think I have this one in a collection pack somewhere. I think you'll see later on, but... Yeah, definitely a fun movie. Not my favorite Ernest film. I think that Saves Christmas. That's my favorite. Or Scare Stupid. Um, but I miss Jim Varney a lot. Rest in peace, Jim Varney. But I have a lot of the Ernest films. Let's see. Next we have Don't Be a Menace. To the South Central while drinking your juice in the hood. <laughs> With the Waynes. I've never seen this one, but I've heard some fun things about it. So someday I'll give it a watch. But yeah. Don't be a menace. So I got that. Uh, next, we have the number 23 with Jim Carrey, uh, directed by Joe Schumacher. I don't know, I've heard different things about the film, not too many good things, um, but yeah, we'll see. Sometime I'll give it a watch. But for the Jim Carrey collection, the number 23, put that right there. Uh, next we have U571, 
which I haven't seen this in a long time, but I remember liking it. I think it's a good flick. Uh, I know it's the same director of Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines, but... I mean, it's a submarine mo movie, but it's not a bad one. Good cast, so... U571. Got that. Uh, next, we have... Identity with John Cusack, Ray Liotta, Amanda Peet. And I remember liking this film. It's definitely it makes you think. It's sort of uh, twisty, but um, I remember, you know, I remember liking it. I just, you know, it's one of those I have to rewatch. It's one of those you definitely have to rewatch and think a little bit, but Identity, good movie. So I got that. Let's see, next we have a fun movie, Oscar, with a Stallone, you know, fun movie, fun comedy, I mean, good cast, Stallone is fun, directed by John Landis, which makes me curious, because I think around the time, I think this came out in 91, was this around the same time they were considering doing a comedy with uh, Stallone and John Candy? Like, they were supposed to be feuding neighbors? So, yeah, imagine, you know, if that would have happened, it would have been fun, but... So it was kind of around this time, but Oscar's a fun one, so... Good comedy. Uh, let's see, next... We have... The Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake. From 2003, which I like. I like this remake. Uh, not a lot of features, but yeah, one of the better remakes. You know, I like it. So I have that. Put that right there. So I'm just picking up a few at a time. Um, let's see, next we have They Live. John Carpenter's They Live. Definitely a great movie. Classic. I miss Roddy Piper uh, a lot. Um, he was a great, great person. I met him in person. And he was just a very nice man. And yeah, I miss Roddy Piper a lot. But They Live is a great movie. Classic. Uh, next, we have... 127 Hours with James Franco. Definitely a great movie. Well directed, well shot. Great performance from James Franco. Yeah. Powerful movie. Really good movie. So I got that. Uh, next, we have The Dawn of the Dead remake. Directed by Zack Snyder. Quite a few features up here, and this is the unrated, well, has unrated ex exclusives, so quite a few features. So, yeah, I know he's working on a new zombie film, apparently, for Netflix, but, so we'll see what happens. I know Batista's in it, so might be fun. I got this, Gone with that remake. Also have Day of the Dead, which I haven't seen, believe it or not. I mean, I've heard so much about George Romero's Day of the Dead. I do commentary with writer and director George Romero, with Tom Savini, and production designer. So, a couple of features, not too many, but yeah, Day of the Dead, I have to check out, so I know I should watch Day I should. I have a lot of catching up to do, apparently, so... This is one of them, but I got that. Uh, next, a film that I don't really care much for, but we have Arlington Road, Jeff Bridges, Tim Robbins. I just remember the ending just sort of pissing me off. I just, I didn't really care for this one. If you've seen the film, you know what I'm talking about. It's just the ending, I didn't, like, what? 
but I'm not going to say they're bad in the film. Jeff Bridges and Tim Robbins. It's just I hate the ending. It tries to be pretentious, but yeah. Got that. Arlington Road. Uh, next, we have The Addams Family. Definitely a fun movie, classic. I would like to get the second one. I don't have the second one. But, yeah, definitely a fun movie. No features, which is unfortunate. I know they made an animated film recently. But Adam's Family, great movie. Uh, next, we have Hansel and Gretel. Jeremy Renner. Never seen, but you can let me know about it. <laughs> let me know about this one, so I do own it. So let me know about this one. Put that right there, and I looks like that's getting ready to fall over, so I'll just kind of lean it right there. Yeah. Let's see, moving on. Again, this part's going to be just a little bit longer, but bear with me. We have Body Heat, William Hurt, Kathleen Turner. Never seen this film before. But, yeah, got it for cheap. Body Heat, let me know about that one. Uh, next, we have this Van Damme collection pack, uh, four film collection pack. Universal Soldier of the Return, Knock Off, The Hardcore, and Second in Command, again for the Van Damme collection. I'm a big Van Damme fan, so... Yeah, let me know about these. I've only seen, like, bits and pieces of Universal Soldier The Return, but I haven't seen Knock Off or The Hardcore or Second in Command, so let me know about those. But I got that. A Van Damme pack. Uh, next, we have Stay Tuned with John Ritter. Definitely a great comedy. Nobody talks about it. It's underrated. I like some of the crazy ideas and the premise of being zapped into this TV show. If you haven't seen the film, do check it out. Stay tuned, it's a lot of fun. You know, just a great 90s comedy that nobody talks about, so... But I got that. Uh, next, we have... H2O. Halloween H2O. Great movie. Jamie Lee Curtis is great, again, as her character. I like some of the cast, so... But, yeah, I got H2O. Again, you know, the other Halloween films you'll, you'll, you'll probably see throughout, but I do have all the Halloween films, so I got that. Uh, this next one, I don't have the sequel. Um, I'd like to get it, but effects. Brian Brown, Brian Dennehy. I remember liking this film. You know, the little bit that I've seen of the film. I don't know what all that scribble is right there. I think, I swear, they have the first and the second film in a double pack, so someday I'll pick that up. But effects, I remember liking the film. So I need to go back and rewatch. Got effects. Uh, next, we have Hostage, Bruce Willis. Uh, really good film. Uh, I thought Bruce Willis was, you know, great in the film. And I like the idea of these secret rooms in this house. Good cast. Kevin Pollack, Ben Foster. Yeah, good movie, Hostage. Solid movie. So I got that. Uh, next, we have Joyride, which I haven't seen. I still have to check out. Paul Walker, Steve Zahn. I know this one, there's like a different ending, or there's like different endings, but yeah, I got Joyride. So I have that. 
Let's see, get a few up here ready. Uh, next, we have the cell, Jennifer Lopez, uh, Vincent D'Onofrio, and it's still in the plastic, but I've seen this before, and it's a good flick. Um, definitely, you know, it has creepy Im imagery. You know, I like some of the dream sequences. Vince Vaughn's in the film. You have some commentaries up here, original documentary. So, interactive brain map and empathy test. I don't know what that's about, but yeah, The Cell, good flick. Another one I need to rewatch. We got that at a convention re uh, this year. Uh, next, we have Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Good sequel. Underrated. I didn't watch any of the uh, Halloween films this year. You know, really, you know, sometimes, usually I do on, you know, like the month, for the month of October. You know, for the month of October, it was like different horror films, random. Uh, but I didn't rewatch any of the Halloween films, but, you know, this is still a good sequel. Halloween 3. Got a lot of DVDs in here I need to pick up after I'm done. <laughs> Um, but next we have this uh, Western double pack of Silverado and The Quick and the Dead. Uh, Silverado is a good movie, good Western. Uh, the Quick and the Dead is also a good one. Silverado, you have Kevin Klein, Scott Glenn, Rosanna Arquette, John Cleese, Kevin Costner, Brian Dennehy, Danny Glover, Jeff Goldblum, Linda Hunt. Really good cast. And again, I like The Quick and the Dead. I like Gene Hackman as the villain, Sharon Stone as the protagonist. Um, Sam Raimi directed, but a good double pack. So I got those. Uh, next, which I don't have, this is the only one that I have of these films, but we have Halloween 3, The Marsupials. Again, I don't have the first two. Honestly, I don't know how many of these they made, but I do have the third one. Howling, Howling 3. Howling, Howling, that's what I meant to say. Howling 3, The Marsupials. So you can let me know about that one. Don't know much about it, haven't seen it. Uh, next, definitely a classic. We have Halloween. John Carpenter's Halloween. What more can you say about this film? Um... I mean, it's Halloween. What more can you say? <laughs> but I do have that. Uh, next, we have American History X. This is a film that I've only seen bits and parts of. Um, haven't really seen the whole thing. I know I should, but... I mean, a lot of great things I've heard about it. Edward Norton, Edward Furlong, but yeah, American History X, again, I've only seen bit parts of, but I know I should watch it. Let me know, like, which, you know, like, where some of these, and that kind of goes for other parts to come, but, you know, which ones I should watch, you know, like, uh, ones that I haven't seen that I've mentioned, like, I mean, I mentioned this one, but there's plenty more which I haven't seen, <laughs> so... Recommendations. Uh, but next we have this Michael J. Fox comedy collection of The Secret of My Success, The Hard Way, For Love or Money, and I think, yeah, Greedy. The Hard Way is the fun one with him and James Woods, a fun buddy cop film. Greedy is a fun one, a good cast, fun plot. Haven't seen The Secret of My Success or For the Love of Money, but for the Michael J. Fox collection, I like Michael J. Fox, so I got these films right here. Uh, next, a uh, really good film, we have Starman, Jeff Bridges, Karen Allen, uh, directed by John Carpenter, who I forget directed this. Sometimes I forget... <laughs> that John Carpenter directed this movie. 
probably one of the more underrated John Carpenter films. I mean, it's definitely different from, let's say, The Thing or Bay Trump Little China. But it's a great sci-fi film, love story. Yeah, Starman is great. Wonderful movie, wonderful score. Can see get these few up here already. Coming down to uh, probably like ten more. Um, so yeah, we're down to a few. But uh, anyways, we have this next one. This 10 movies, family favorites uh, pack. Let's see if I can do this. Uh, we have Cloak and Dagger, The Wizard, Cop and a Half, uh, King Ralph with John Goodman, uh, Matinee with John Goodman, which I have on DVD, Sergeant Bilko with uh, Steve Martin, Ghost Dad with uh, Bill Cosby. I think Mr. or just I about to call it Mr. Ed, but Ed, haven't seen. Uh, Simple Wish, Martin Short, and The Borrowers. So, yeah, this Family Favorites collection pack. There's a couple of that I've seen. I like The Wizard and Matinee. Matinee's a great one. Um, but yeah, Cloak and Dagger, The Wizard, Cop and a Half, King Ralph. Matinee, Sergeant Bilko, Ghost Dad, Ed, A Simple Wish, and The Borrowers. So I got that. Uh, next, we have this Boogeyman compilation DVD, which is pretty much like a compilation of clips from these, you know, like different horror films like Hellraiser and Child's Play, Phantasm. Psycho, uh, the Jason films. Mostly, I mean, the commentary by Robert England is fun. Um, you know, I would say definitely check out the commentary. So it's really a compilation DVD, but not a bad one. I mean, I would say, you know, the commentary is more fun, but I do have this. It was a gift, so got that. I don't know why I hit my desk. Uh, next, we have. 25 Years of Terror, Halloween set, which on this too, you have like a lot of panel discussions and like convention discussions. Disc one, you have Halloween two and three extended interviews, extended celebrity interviews, uh, Halloween five on set footage, a convention montage. So a lot of fan stuff, but Again, this is also a gift, so... But I got this. 25 Years of Terror, Halloween. Uh, next, we have Trick or Treat. I haven't seen this one, believe it or not. So you can let me know about this one. But yeah. Trick or Treat. So I got that. Uh, next, we have Moonstruck with uh, Cher and Nicolas Cage, another one which I haven't seen. Eight-page booklet inside featuring trivia and production notes, and that's kind of it. But yeah, Moonstruck, so I have that. Uh, next... We have a really good film, Frailty, which is directed by Bill Paxton, uh, Rest in Peace. Stars Matthew McConaughey, Powers Booth, Bill Paxton. And this is a good one. Uh, I like the twist at the end. Uh, not many people talk about this film much now, but Frailty is a good one. Again, well directed by Bill Paxton, so rest in peace, Mr. Paxton. So I got Frailty. Uh, next, we have St. Vincent with a Bill Murray, Miss Melissa McCarthy. I thought this was a very good film. You know, it has a sweet story, good drama. I mean, you know, it has some. It's a drama with the with the, some comedy elements in there. Um, I thought Bill Murray did a very good job as this character. 
So, yeah. It's a feel-good movie. I mean, that's what I would describe it as, a feel-good movie. So, yeah, definitely, if you haven't seen it, check it out. St. Vincent. Uh, next, we have Paycheck, starring Ben Affleck, directed by John Woo. Which I haven't... I've only seen bit parts of this as well. I haven't seen the entire film, so... You can let me know about this one. Paycheck. Got that. Uh, next, we have Less Than Zero with a Robert Downey Jr. I know this is more of a drama. I've heard a lot of things about it, so... Someday I'll give it a watch. But yeah. Less than zero. So I got that. Uh, coming down to the last two. We have Mindhunters. Good flick. Good cast. Directed by Rennie Harlan, who directed Die Hard 2 and Cliffhanger. I thought he did a good job on this. And it's a good thriller, sort of a whodunit type of movie. I like Mindhunters. Again, not many people talk about... Well, not many people talk about this film at all, but... It's a definitely a good one. So I got that. And this last one... Child's Play 3. Good sequel. You know, I like the... Military school aspect, and... Uh, Justin Whalen, I think is his name, is the actor. Who plays the older Andy. I thought I liked him. I thought that was good casting. So, a good, solid sequel. So I got that. And that's part four. So, yeah, I covered a little bit more uh, DVDs. I actually counted, I think it was like 100 <laughs> for this part. I think the last part was around 90. So, I'm going to try to do 100 per part if I can and try to keep it around this time. But, yeah, so I'm at an hour and eight. Uh, but... Thank you for watching and, you know, part four and stay tuned for part five of my DVD and Blu-ray collection, A New Beginning. <laughs> no, I'm just playing, but stay tuned for part five. Hope you enjoy these videos and have a good day.